make it very clear, I wasn't acting in any of that. And probably the number one thing I noted through that experiment is by the end of it, I was in a fog. My mind wanted to do nothing but lay on the couch and I couldn't think straight. I felt terrible, but the irony is there was a small part of me that said, you know what, it's okay because I've got that next fast food meal to satisfy me. The next food you definitely want to try and avoid is processed meats, and especially processed sandwich meats. They are loaded down with chemicals and meat glue and other reconstituted food particles that will hopefully make that food seem more like natural meat. And all of a sudden there are these changes taking place in your brain. These artificial sweeteners are teaching you to crave Foods such as, well, more cake, <laughs> more donuts, more fries. Did you know that the human body is about 60% water? So taking in all those other essential nutrients won't sustain us without water's help. Helps you feel better generally, with more oxygen going to your brain, and more endorphins circulating and providing the now famous natural high. Workload that's required to achieve that moderate intensity is different for different people. People who are relatively less fit will require a lower workload to achieve that intensity, whereas people that are, are very fit will be doing a much higher workload to achieve a moderate. <laughs> Starches are sugars. They're going to spike your blood sugar and they're going to contribute to weight gain. Two. Lay off the processed crap and please eat more fruits and vegetables.